explicit, awful, inexcusable, shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I I think Nickelodeon's got a real problem on its hands. We'll see. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 kids show scandals that got actors fired. Very interesting. I I basically got permission to be pregnant because it's something you don't do. For this list, we'll be looking at controversies surrounding several kid-friendly TV programs and the actors who lost their jobs on those shows as a result. Do you agree with our list? Sound off in the comments. Number 10. PSA PR Problem – The Good Night Show The Good Night Show was a PBS Kids Sprout program designed to motivate young children to get ready for bedtime. Hello, Sproutlets! What a terrific time we had tonight! We looked through our Sproutoscope, played games, and sang songs! Now guess what time it is! The cheerful host, Melanie Martinez, read stories and turned nightly chores such as brushing your teeth into games or lessons. Unfortunately, Martinez's past work in two satirical PSAs came back to haunt her. In a video that has since made its way to YouTube, her very straightforward advice on how to avoid pregnancy shocked viewers who knew her as a children's nighttime TV host. I've got big plans for my future. A good college, a career, maybe even my own business someday. But one thing I'm not planning on is getting pregnant. PBS quickly fired and replaced her. This sparked protests from parents, who claimed the toddlers watching were very unlikely to find Martinez's spoof videos, and petitioned that she be reinstated. In the end, the network held their ground. It's always good to wish for something nice for you, your friends, or your family. Number 9. Jason Biggs Tweets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles even before the animated revival series aired, the former American Pie star was in hot water over a series of tweets published in 2012. And then it's just fun to wake up on Tuesday mornings and see like what articles were written about like what tweet I wrote yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. the people are quote unquote yeah. up in arms about or Jason Biggs is under fire. The tweets in question were usually leveled at conservative politicians or the Kardashians and were often sexually graphic in nature. While these may have been relatively tame for Twitter, much of the trouble had to do with TMNT's parent network, Nickelodeon. Sensei, we know you're trying to protect us, but we can't spend our whole lives hiding down here. Parents were calling the network by the thousands, demanding Biggs's firing. Biggs continued with the controversial tweets, and in 2014, the network couldn't make a case for him anymore, and he was let go. If viewers thought his tweets weren't becoming of a kid show star, they must not have been familiar with the rest of his body of work. We'll just tell your mother that, uh, that uh, we ate it all. Number 8. Dana Plato's Pregnancy – Different Strokes The young cast of this sitcom had notoriously difficult lives both on and off the show. Actress Dana Plato spent six seasons on Different Strokes as the upstanding and sophisticated Kimberly Drummond. Boys, this hurricane that just blew in is my daughter Kimberly. This is Arnold, and this is Willis, Kimberly. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Metal Mouse. One episode featured an entire plot about Kimberly's father thinking she might be pregnant. Why didn't you come to me when it first happened? I wasn't there when it happened. <laughs> You weren't there? Have you kids invented something new I don't know about? While played for laughs on the show, Plato's very real pregnancy would become a headache for the family show just a few seasons later. As it was deemed inappropriate for the character to become a teen mother, she was written out. She appeared only as a guest star during the last two seasons. What was the reason you left the program? Well, the reason that, that, they, that they let me go was uh, because I, I was pregnant with my son Tyler. Oh. Well, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. No, He's now 11. Home. Number 7. Kermit's Conduct – The Muppets Few TV characters are as wholesome as Kermit the Frog. Well, frogs, we just sit around. Yeah. You sit in the swamps, you sit in the mud. You yeah. Know. Sit there. That's what frogs do. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to a dumb frog. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, Speculation about puppeteer and Kermit voice actor Steve Whitmire's firing in 2016 had everyone asking, what could Kermit have done? Well, Whitmire was reportedly difficult to work with on the set of the 2015 The Muppets revival. There are a lot of challenges being the executive producer of a show starring your ex. 
one of the biggest. This is where I park every day. He would offer notes on the show's scripts because he felt they were unsatisfactory. His actual performance as the frog was cited as another reason for his dismissal. The show's producers felt he had turned Kermit into a bitter and sad character, unbecoming of his status as a kid show star. That Whitmire made outrageous demands, like you better make me happy because the Muppets are Kermit. Whitmire would also be replaced for all future appearances of the role, which he had performed since creator Jim Henson's death in 1990. Number 6. Public Nuisance – Bizarre Vark After going viral on the short-form video platform Vine, the Disney Channel offered Jake Paul a recurring spot on their new series Bizarre Vark. Okay, dareheads, I'm gonna slingshot that watermelon into my head melon! Here we go! His role as a goofy daredevil who took any challenge put in front of him was a good fit for his rambunctious persona, but fame and fortune quickly got in the way. After purchasing a home in a wealthy neighborhood, Paul earned the ire of all his neighbors. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them, yeah. for sure. Uh, there's nothing we could do, though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, dab. His constant parties and adolescent antics brought loud noise, fire hazards, and unwanted fans to the neighborhood in droves. There were even reports that his neighbors were suing him. Paul took his firing in stride, just like his neighbors' many complaints. I look at myself as a role model, but like an imperfect role model. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna make mistakes. I think that's more realistic for kids to have a role model like that versus like someone who just like seems perfect from the outside. Number five, Tommy Kirk's behind the scenes conduct, various Disney projects. Much like today, in the 1950s, Disney always had a stable of young performers they could plug into any movie or TV show as needed. Tommy Kirk was one of their biggest stars. You act a man's part and I'll bring you a man's horse. Want to shake on it? Although primarily known for his movies, his cachet with Disney allowed him to take numerous parts on television as well. I think you're just going to have to face it, Joe. There's not going to be any mystery today. Or any other day. Yeah. Not with him. However, he was found in a situation with an underaged boy while the actor himself was an adult. Kirk was quickly dismissed. The studio let him make one more movie before giving him the boot from all future projects. Now, let's see if it works. Oh no, I'm not going to let you take it. That's Stanley's job, isn't it, Stanley? Kirk's career never quite recovered. Number 4. Underage Drinking and a DUI – Pair of Kings and Prank Stars This Hannah Montana star's distinctive haircut precedes him. I'm Hannah Montana. <laughs> Me, Miley. After that classic Disney sitcom wrapped production, Mitchell Musso was given two of his own shows to headline. The first was a sitcom called Pair of Kings, and the second was a hidden camera prank show called Prank Stars. Hey, I'm Mitchell Musso, and I'm in front of my mobile command center. But you can't get real fro yo here because all we're serving up is pranks. All was going well for the 20-year-old until 2011. The underage Musso was pulled over and charged with a DUI. Ever the stickler for squeaky clean images of their young stars, Disney had him written out of Pair of Kings and canceled prank stars altogether. I took years off of, of working because I, I needed to go uh, grow. I needed to go uh, live my life and uh, experience something um, in this journey that didn't just involve work and Mitchell Musso a brand. Number three, wire and mail fraud, Fuller House. When news broke about a college admissions scandal involving Hollywood stars and their children, you could almost hear millions of millennials scream, Aunt Becky in unison. The scandal ensnaring actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Loughlin, who, along with dozens of other wealthy parents, are accused of breaking the law so their kids could get ahead. For years, actress Lori Loughlin was known for playing Becky Katsopoulos, Uncle Jesse's on-screen wife on Full House. Hello, Michelle, I'll teach you how to cook. Well, that's sweet, honey, but who's gonna teach you? <laughs> Come on, stop teasing me, I'm a good cook. In 2019, Lachlan and her husband pled guilty to wire and mail fraud in connection with the famous college bribery scandal. Lachlan was set to serve two months in prison, so unsurprisingly, the Hallmark Channel severed ties with her. Lachlan also lost her recurring role on Netflix's Full House revival. Where's Danny? Oh, he left. Was he a ride? 
It was my car. Number two, Predator Caught, Andy Mack. The set of this acclaimed Disney Channel original was rocked by a scandal involving one of its adult actors. What's going on? She knows. My brain feels like it's melting. How does she know? I told her. You had no right. You don't get to be upset. Stoney Westmoreland, the actor who played Andy Mack's grandfather, Ham, was arrested in 2018. He was reportedly en route to meet someone he thought was a minor, but who turned out to be law enforcement. Friday, when Ms. Westmoreland arrived at the arranged spot, Salt Lake City authorities and the FBI said they took him into custody. Considering the charges, it was disturbing to know that he was working on a children's show with young co-stars. Westmoreland was promptly fired, and his character was edited out of the remaining episodes he had filmed before his arrest. A federal grand jury in Utah charged Stoney Westmoreland with one count of coercion and enticement. The charges comes with a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence if convicted. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tinky Winky Goes Tubby Bye Bye – The Teletubbies <laughs> The highly popular, if slightly irritating, British kid show featured four actors in costume, speaking gibberish and frolicking in a pastoral landscape. Tinky Winky! <laughs> Gipsy! La la! American televangelist Jerry Falwell took particular umbrage, particularly against the purple Teletubby Tinky Winky. Falwell insisted the character was a subversive gay character with nefarious purposes. So why target Teletubbies? It's the number one children's show in America, 16 million U.S. viewers seen in 50 countries, and $2 billion in merchandise sold. Comedian Dave Thompson, the original Tinky Winky actor, was fired not long after, leaving many to wonder if it was because of these criticisms. Thompson would go on to say he was only told that his, quote, interpretation of the role was not accepted. Eventually, I got sacked from the job. Why? Uh, well, the letter said that my interpretation of the role had not been accepted. Did you understand what that meant? No, I think it just meant the producer didn't like me very much. 70 episodes into the show's run, he was replaced by actor Simon Shelton. Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.